Hunter Dooley and today I will be showing you a recipe and I will be telling you not only how to make it but also what you're eating as well. So today we're going to be making a very classic recipe. It's chocolate chip banana bread pancakes. So first we're going to start out with our dry ingredients. We're going to do one cup flour, one tablespoon of brown sugar, teaspoons of baking powder so that's about like two two pinches about um, one fourth tablespoon salt and two tablespoons chocolate chips all right and then we're gonna mix these a little bit just so they combine to our wet ingredients. The first one is going to be one egg. And you want two ripe bananas. I have one ripe banana here and the other one's slightly less ripe, but that will work just fine. Put those in there. And you're going to want to mash these up. I like to do it with a fork. Fork works just great. Um, slight lumps are okay. Adds for a little texture. All right, and then we're gonna do one half teaspoon of extract from vanilla, two tablespoons melted butter, and one cup of milk. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the mixer and I'm gonna mix it up and then we're gonna combine the wet and dry ingredients. Milk. So you may think milk is just milk from a cow and then it goes straight to your table. But in reality, there's a lot of preservatives in milk that keep it fresh for a long time. One of these preservatives is benzoic acid. Benzoic acid's chemical formula is C7H6O2. Benzoic acid is a synthetic compound used to mostly preserve meat and milk products, but is also used in low sugar products, drinks, and cereals. Results of ingesting these chemicals may include headaches, stomach upset, asthma attacks, or hyperactivity in children. Benzoic acid is listed on food labels. The main chemicals, compounds, and components of benzoic acid are originally derived from tree resin and is sometimes known as gum benzoin. It is a colorless crystalline solid. Benzoic acid is sometimes reacted with vitamin C and it creates benzene, a cancer-causing carcinogen, which is when it becomes harmful to the human body. Butter also has a lot of preservatives that keep it fresh for a long time. One of these preservatives is BHA or BHT. The chemical formula for BHA is C11H16O2. BHA or butylated hydroxyanisole is a synthetic compound, meaning it is not naturally occurring in nature. BHA is made in a lab by combining two isomeric compounds. BHT or butylated hydroxytoluene is a close cousin of BHA. They serve similar purposes and is also created in a lab. They are found in cereals, sausages, dried meats, various other foods with added oils, such as butter. The World Health Organization International Agency for Research on Cancer considers this a possible human carcinogen. These compounds are labeled on foods, often followed by added for freshness. BHA consists of two isomeric organic compounds, as mentioned earlier. An isomeric compound is a compound with the exact same molecular formula as another compound, with the exact same number of atoms for each element, although the elements of the compound are in a different order or arrangement than the other isomeric compound. While BHT is a lipophilic organic compound deriving from the chemical phenol and has antioxidant properties it preserves food smell, color, and flavor. This shows that while BHA and BHT are very similar, they are different compounds. The chemistry of BHA and BHT. The oxidative behavior of BHA may result in a carcinogenic substance or tumor. Some people also have trouble digesting BHA, and this can lead to behavioral or health changes. There is also evidence that BHA can build up in the body over time. BHA and BHT can work to either promote carcinogens, which has not been thoroughly researched, 
but may intercept free radicals and activate the detoxifying enzymes in the body, ultimately battling some carcinogens. In an experiment where both a male and female rat were given BHA, they both showed evidence of enhancement or moved along the creation of carcinogenesis in the bladder and fore stomach and inhibited or stopped carcinogenesis in the liver. In another experiment, hamsters were given BHT and had an increase in liver tumors but decrease in bladder tumor, but had no effect of carcinogenesis in the fore stomach as BHA did. One of the chemicals used in preserving the half and half used in the homemade whipped cream was MSG. MSG's chemical formula is C5H8NO4NA. MSG is an added flavor enhancer and is found in many processed foods such as dressings, condiments, seasonings, bouillons, and snacks such as chips. It is made of water, sodium, and glutamate. MSG has some immediate health concerns, which includes tightening in the chest, a burning in the forearms or chest, and even headaches. It is listed on food labels and is a man-made or synthetic compound. MSG was originally extracted from the naturally occurring MSG in seaweed, but is now made from the fermentation of sugarcane, sugar beets, starches, and molassesses. MSG is also known as monosodium glutamate and is sodium salt of glutamic acid. Now, when we hear glutamate, we can assume that glutamate is in that product. Glutamate is a non-essential antioxidant, which means that our body produces it. You might be unfamiliar with a term like antioxidant, which is a substance in our bodies that stops oxidation that may be destructive. Now, as we get into the more complicated chemistry of food digestion, you may be unfamiliar with a term like oxidation. Well, oxidation in, in the body is a process of damaging cell membrane, DNA, cellular proteins, and lipids. As oxygen is metabolized, it creates free radicals, which are molecules with only one electron, which always try to steal other electrons from other molecules, and that creates damage. Previously mentioned, MSG contains glutamate, which is a substance used to enhance flavor, and when ingested, acts as a way of exciting neurotransmitters, and can destroy nerve cells with too much excitement or too much glutamate. After such research, glutamate was named an excitotoxin. However, scientists have only researched these effects tests on animals. It has also been found that with high amounts of glutamate, the antioxidant is able to cross the blood-brain barrier, causing neurons to swell or be injured aka MSG sensitivity, which only some people have. It is unknown why this happens. With large doses of MSG, over half of individuals will experience an asthma attack. Although there is not research on this to know, there's not enough research on this to know why asthma attacks are a result of this intake. Scientists have also researched whether MSG results in weight gain or metabolic disorder. There is not enough studies done on humans that show MSG is the cause, Although when rats were injected with MSG, they became obese. The reason why these free radical glut glutamate and MSG are harmful is because free radicals have one electron and want to find the other. Once they steal from something else, then that atom turns into a greedy electron-seeking atom and creates a chain reaction that can result in neurological damage as well as damage to the immune system. All right, so we are going to cook these on medium-high heat on a grease pan. 